you back to the National Collation Center where INEC is about to present the president elect Bola Tinubu with the certificate of return. Please, Hello. all the aides, judgment of the press, leave the front. Of course, we do know that um, Bola Tinumbo of the APC has been declared president-elect of the 2023 president. He has been declared president-elect after winning the 2023 presidential election. Uh, Mr. Tinumbo defeated 17 other candidates who took part in the election he scored a total of 8,794,726 votes, the highest of all the candidates, thus meeting the first constitutional requirement to be declared the winner. He also scored over 25% of the votes cast in 30 states, more than the 24 states constitutionally required. Uh, the INEC chairman, Mahmoud Yakubu, who announced the final results in the early hours of today, said that Tukwa Abubakar of the PDP came second in the election with 6,984,520 votes, while Peter of Bio of the Labour Party came third in the election with a total of 6,101,533 votes, and Rabio Musa Kwankwanso of the NNPC came fourth a distant fourth with 1,496,687 votes. We're still live in Abuja, where INEC is to present the certificate of return to the newly elected president, Tinubu. We just see some dignitaries arriving in order for the proceedings to start. Uh, Bisiak on day earlier, we saw her sit down. Of course, we, of course, we see many other people waiting for the proceedings to start. Um, very historic day in Nigeria's uh, electorate, the inauguration of a new pre the uh, presenting of the certificate of return to a brand new president after a total of 18 presidential candidates contested and he won out of all of them across the 36 states of the federation and the federal capital territory in Abuja on Saturday. Now, as we know, the elections were postponed until Sunday in some polling units in a few of the different states due, unfortunately, to violence and logistical problems, the theft of BVAS and other issues that occurred during the electoral process. After the collation, at the collation centers, uh, the results were presented uh, over the course of three days by the state collation officers for the presidential elections before INEC, uh, INEC's chairman, Mahmoud Yaqub. Yakubu uh, today is presenting the certificate of return Please. to Tinubu. So we anticipate security officials. We anticipate more dignitaries so to fill the, the room. If you don't in, have a seat downstairs, in order to make this downstairs. a smooth proceeding. There are hundreds of seats upstairs. Please.
Well, just to bring you up to speed on what's happening so far, we are live at the National Collation Center in Abuja, where INEC is about to present the winner of the election, Bola Tinumbu of the APC, with the certificate of return. Of course, we do know that the Labour Party and the PDP are not happy with the outcome of this election. After questioning why INEC refused to follow its own guidelines to upload the election results to the IRF portal, but of course, INEC says the election was free and fair, and they've gone ahead to declare Bola Ametinumbu the winner of the 2023 presidential election. And of course, Tinumbu has given his acceptance speech. He declared his, um, he described his declaration as a shining moment in his life. He said he's profoundly humbled to serve as the 16th president of Nigeria. And of course, he reached out to all his opponents. He thanked the uh, supporters of Atiku Abubakar, the articulated. He thanked the obedience, the batified, the Kwankwansia supporters. And of course, he said that even though they were all opponents during the election, that they were no enemies. And in his heart, they are still his brothers. And of course, those who are aggrieved, he has told them to head to the election tribunal, where hopefully justice will be served. What we should do now is just play the national anthem. Mm -hmm. Announce the vote or rise for the national anthem. Mm -hmm. I'm starting now. 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 I've been directed to start. Just leave it. Let's start now. Ladies and gentlemen, please, let's settle down finally. We are starting now. And we are starting with the national anthem of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Let's rise for the national anthem, please. <clears throat> Please be seated. Please be seated. Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency Professor Yemi Oshibanjo, SAN GCON. This honor, the Senate President, Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency Senator Ahmed Lawan, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency Femi Bajabia Mila. The, the President-elect, Ashwaju Amel Tinubu, and his amiable wife, Senator Lure Tinubu. The Vice President-elect, Alaji Kashim Shatima, Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Mr. Boss Mustafa, National Security Advisor, Major General Babagana Mungunu, retired. 
all the service chiefs here present, including the IGP, Yusman Akali Baba, CFR. the National Chairman of the APC, Alaji Abdullahi Adamu, Your Excellencies, Executive Governors here present, members of the Federal Executive Council, top government officials here present, Senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, members of the House of Representatives, the Chairman of INEC himself and National Commissioners and Secretary to the Commission, distinguished members of the political parties that are here, including executive members, gentlemen of the press, my lords, temporal spiritual, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Independent National Electoral Commission, I welcome you all to this very important ceremony. Last Saturday, Nigeria conducted its presidential election, successfully conducted its presidential election, and early this morning, the Chief Electoral Commissioner of the Federation and the Returning Officer at the presidential election who is also the INEC Chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakubo, declared the candidate of APC as the winner. It's in that light that we are here today, this afternoon, simply to present the certificates of return to the President-elect, Ashua Jibola Ahmed Tinubu, and the Vice President-elect, who is also the former governor of Bruno. With that, Honorable, with that, Chairman of INEC, I will simply invite you to make a few remarks, and then I will invite the President-elect and Vice President-elect to step up to collect their certificates of return. Okay, I've been advised to simply invite the president-elect to, ste to step up to collect the certificate.
the vice president before he forced him to make a few remarks. Thank you. It's my pleasure to now invite the Vice President elect, Alaji Kashim Shatima, to step forward and collect his certificate of return. Nigeria has decided, and we are live at the National Collation Center in Abuja for the presentation of certificates for the president-elect, Bala Ahmed Tinubu, and his vice president-elect, Kashim Shatima. In attendance are the vice president of the country, Yemi uh, Oshibajo, <coughs> Honorable Senate President Ahmed Lawan, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, and the VP-elect, of course, the secretary to the government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, along with national security advisors, service chiefs, and the national chairman of the APC, Abdullahi Adamu. Both president-elect uh, president Balatinbu and vice president-elect Kashim Shatima accepted their individual certificates from the INEC officials alongside their wives, shaking the hands of the INEC commissioners and taking photo opportunities with the commissioner as well. Now, INEC chairman Ma Yakubu, Mahmoud Yakubu declared Tinubu the winner of the election and the president-elect earlier this morning at the International Conference Center in Abuja. That's right. Um, a 70-year-old veteran politician actually got 37 percent of the votes by official results announced. His main rival, Atiku Abubakar, polled 29 percent 
All Labour's party Spito Obey had 25% of the entire votes. The parties had earlier dismissed the poll as a sham and demanded a rerun. But Mr. Tinubu is one of the most experienced and a veteran politician and based his campaign on the record of rebuilding the biggest city in Lagos where he was governor. He was nevertheless defeated in that particular state. And Mr. Tinubu has said that he will try to bring everybody to the table as unity is his main agenda. Well, of course, despite all the hue and cry about the outcome of the election results, we can see it's a festive atmosphere at the National Collation Center where supporters of the president-elect are out in numbers congratulating their principal who emerged victorious after a very competitive election. INEC has also said that the process was free and fair. And, of course, earlier, President Muhammad Buhari, who promised to Thank leave you, a legacy of free and fair election, also congratulated his incoming no, successor, Bola Tinumbu, saying he's the, the best man for the job. Now, the president, who though has agreed that there were technical problems with electronic transmission of the results, said that means there will be areas that should be worked on for further transparency and credibility to the voting process. Your Excellency, the Vice President, Yemi Osibaju, Professor Yemi Osibaju, The Vice President elect Senator Kashim Shetima. Your Excellencies, our re respectable governors here present, the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Mr. Boss Mustafa, our dear INEC Chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, and the National Commissioners here present, Honorable Ministers and members of National Assembly, particularly the Senate's President and the Speaker. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please permit me to stand on the previous protocol enumerated here, you all have my respect and courses. As I hold this certificate, this moment is one of the celebration and gra gladness for us, of, for us all. The road has been long. Yet, we walk it. The battle has been hard fought. Yet, we won it. But more importantly, I realize that I'm just a servant of the larger purpose. You see, this is more than a document of certificate of election confirming the positive outcome of an election. This important document symbolizes our collective democratic attainment and even loftier aspirations. It represents the impending transfer of most sacred duty and trust from one person to another. At 
is most sublime. This certificate also symbolizes that each of you has the ability to achieve what other believes is impossible for you to achieve. I stand before you the present, as the president elect, and yes, that is special. But I am not different than any one of you. If I can do this, you even can do it better. You must do better. Our destiny as a people and a nation depend on our ability to share the artificial restrictions of bias and prejudice so that we live fully onto our democratic creed that no one is innately superior or entitled to greater rights and opportunities than any other Nigeria. Very soon, this nation shall witness a young person standing before you, holding this great symbol of democracy and national leadership. We shall see a woman standing before you, holding this advocate as its owner. We shall experience someone from a tribe that many people have tried to dismiss as um, our beginning to disqualify. For this high office, by, dit, by dint of hard work, determination and unyielding belief in a noble endeavor, you can achieve the best of things. There are young people listening to me right now who shall one day be the leaders of our precious and exceptional democratic republic. Thus, by, accept, by taking this advocate, I assume a sacred duty I shall never ignore. To you, the people, especially the youth, I will walk day and night. I will walk to the utmost best of my ability to make Nigeria better. For this to be a victory at all, it cannot simply be a victory for one man or even one party. It must become a victory for all Nigerians who are committed to a greater society. I know many did not vote for me, and you are disappointed that your candidate is not where I stand now. I understand you are hot, your anger and disappointment. I send the embrace and comfort of one family member to another. This great project called Nigeria beckons to us all. It is bigger and more important than any partition divide. To my supporters, I ask you to continue to have faith in the mission that we have articulated. Though those who didn't support me, I ask that you not allow the disappointment of this moment to keep you from realizing the historic national progress we can make by working together. We must join hands in this common endeavor to pull the nation through. 
in the phrase, I'm asking you to walk with me. I may be the president in election, but I need you more importantly. Nigeria needs you a lot more than just one person. My heart, my door are open to you. I ask you to come in so that we may begin the task of rebuilding our national home together, day by day, brick by brick. Where there is poverty, let us create prosperity and jobs. Where there is hunger, let us feed the people, chasing the hunger from the, our midst. Where there is no scarcity, let us rediscover the abundance. Where there is brutality, we may replace it with brotherhood. Where there is violence, stalk the land, we may establish peace. Where others have erected temples to hatred and bias, we may reconstruct permanent monuments to compassion and abiding affection. History will record that this day as the moment when I officially stood before you as a president-elect. However, I would like to dedicate this day and record, record it as the moment that we vowed to come together to make Nigeria stand shining forth at the beloved and brave republic that God created for all of us. We are committed to the progress, development, and renew the hope of Nigerians. God bless you. Well, another victory speech from the president-elect Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, who just received his certificate of returns from the INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu. The president-elect says he realizes is just a servant of the larger purpose despite winning the election, and he encouraged Nigerians to keep hope alive as one day, he says, a youth and a woman will become president of the country.